Good morning, Orlando Gardeners. Um, today, I really want to talk to you guys about something very important, and it's knowing your sun and your microclimate. When I started gardening in 2020, I was watching a lot of YouTube channels, uh, great, great YouTube channels, but they were all from like New Jersey, Maryland, uh, Massachusetts, some homestead, uh, permaculture uh, channels, and they have a lot of great information. But uh, everything I planted in 2020, I can tell you guys almost 80% that I planted, it was a catastrophe. I fell with every single letters, bowl choice, spinach, um, tomatoes, cucumbers, I mean any vegetable in general that I planted it was it was just not successful. And uh, I mean I never retired so I work full time um, 47 to 55 hours a week and I have a 11 year old. I'm married, my mom lives with me so um, I have a lot of other responsibilities, so time and money are important. And time especially is really hard for me to pull it away from my everyday responsibilities that I have in my life. So I put so much effort and energy in trying to, there is my mockingbird saying good morning. Uh, All right. Look at that cardinal. I don't know if you can see it right there behind me. So, um, like I was saying, I put so much energy and I spent so much money uh, trying to buy everything organic and trying to get the best seeds and trying to, and no matter what I did, it was just not happening. I planted fruit trees and uh, those were successful, um, but obviously it's, it's, it's different. Uh, fruit trees and evergreens and all that is completely different to vegetables. Well, I learned that I was in night in Zone Nine B in Orlando, and I told, "Well, I got this now." And and you know what? Not really, because it's not only important for you guys to know what zone are you at. You need to know your microclimate. So 9B here in Orlando are not the same like my 9B where I live. So Florida is a completely different animal. Uh, we have three months of winter if, and, uh, and even through winter, you'd be surprised that you can survive a lot of stuff. I have tomato plants that make it through the winter. I have pepper plants that made it through the, through the winter. Um, my bananas, they suffer, but they actually survive. So knowing your sun is critical. And if you're in Florida, South Florida, Central Florida, North Florida, it's still completely different. We can grow different things at different times. But the cool thing about us, if you, if we learn really good what we can do, we, we will be unstoppable. Um, you have to really, really be on top of your weather and uh, the, the things that they are happening around you. And that will make you a, most, a more successful gardener if you're here in Central Florida. And uh, that's what I wanted to call my channel, uh, the American Cuban Gardener in Orlando. Uh, I was born in Cuba. I've been half of my life here now, half and half, and uh, so I consider myself an American, but you know, you cannot take the roots out of you. And uh, I grew up with my great-grandparents, my mom was always working, so uh, they used to have farm and land back in Cuba, and then they lost it when Castro took over. And, uh, but it's still in their, in their little house with their little patio 
uh, my great grandmother would have planned so many things. And you know, when you're young, you don't pay attention. You just wanna play with the lizards and all that good stuff. But I do remember that everything she planted, it grew from a little leaf, uh, from a little seed. It was just a miracle. And, uh, and I wish I would have learned more from her. Anyway, let's, let me not get emotional here. So what I'm trying to tell you is that if you really pay attention to your environment, Orlando is completely different than South Florida or Tampa or Sarasota or the Panhandle. We just kind of like unique, especially here where I'm at. Like right now we're going through like a huge drought. I'm sorry about the low motor. My, my neighbors are taking care of my front yard. They always cut it for me, which is a bless. Uh, but um, here we have this, this weather that is very, very hard. Sometimes it rains for weeks, literally. Like, like, like my backyard is flooded in many places because it's just so much rain day after day. And, uh, and then sometimes we spend like almost a whole month and it doesn't get one drop of rain. And it's, it, it, is, it is a challenge and it is frustrated and you have some water and then it's so hot. So know your song. And I promise you that if you do, it will be fantastic. Because knowing your song and your microclimate, you can create your own heaven. Um, it's been now two years that I've been really full gardening and uh, I learned so much and it's so much more that I can do now that I couldn't even dream of in 2020. Like now my cucumbers are successful, my zucchinis are successful, my tomatoes are successful, my peppers is like a miracle. So it's a lot of things. I even plant garlic that they say is almost impossible in Orlando. I'm gonna show you guys when I harvest and we'll see how big the, the heads are. Uh, but knowing your song is completely criti critical. Um, I invite you to follow my journey in my channel. I am, uh, I'm still working full time, so my time, like I say, is very limited. But I, uh, I'm planning that when I retire, this is what I wanna do full time. I, I wanna garden, I wanna help other people here in Orlando, Central Florida, to learn how many things we can accomplish as long as we are in tune with what is happening with the weather. It is uh, amazing the results that you will get. I hope you guys have a great day. I'm on my way to plant some onions. I know I'm a little late for it, but I'll let you guys know. Like I told you, our weather is special. We can do a lot of things that older people cannot do. Until then, I hope you guys have a blessed day. Y sigue plantando. Keep on planting. Bye.